I feel this team has the potential to improve on last year's successes. Um, we lost good contributing seniors, but I feel as though the newcomers have done their job as far as re replacing them. Um, I think that we have a chance, that's ultimately our goal every year, is to improve on last year, and I think we have a good chance this year of doing that. Well, like I said just a minute ago, um, to improve on last year in small ways and big ways, small ways just statistically ground balls, caused turnovers, lost turnovers for us, um, and then obviously our record. Um, also to play every game to the best of our ability and keep a positive attitude no matter what the situation or score is. Some of the key returners this year, defensively, we have Alexandra Welch from Skinny Atlas, New York. Um, she plays with her head on her shoulders all the time, very consistent, and allows her teammates to do just that as well. Um, midfield, we have Deja Werntz from Syracuse, New York. She was a second team all-conference winner last year. Um, she's going to be a key to our transition as she is very fast. She was our ground ball leader last year and I feel as though she could chip in many goals as well. Offensively, we have Abby Webster from Syracuse, New York. Um, she's very physical and strong. She plays behind the cage, so I feel as though she's going to have a lot of assists as well as a lot of goals. And lastly, we have Caitlin Shepard from Ogdensburg, New York. She was our leading goal scorer last year, first team all-conference winner. And I feel like that's has motivated her even more so this year to do even better. Um, statistically and just as a leader, um, she puts the team on her shoulders and I wouldn't want anybody else on the team to do that. Impact newcomers. Um, well, the roster of 19, all the new people are important, um, but in particular, um, we have Patricia Breen, who was had a season-ending injury last year, so she's back this year. Um, she's from Watertown, New York. Um, her and Madeline Brand, who's also from Watertown, New York, those two played in high school, so they kind of have that connection, and when they're on the field together, it's very nice to watch. Um, and offensively, we have Mackenzie Bressett from Ogdensburg, New York. She is very physical, very good at ground balls, and just sees the goal and sees the shots very well. I think our team has the potential to be a threat to all our NIAC opponents. Um, since I've been here, we've kind of finished in the middle of the road, um, and this year we're looking to finish third. Um, that's our team's goal. Well, our team's goal is third or above. But um, last year we finished fifth and had to play the playing game, which ultimately is something we don't. Our team doesn't want to do. So we'd like to finish one, two, or three. Um, which I think we have a good chance if we stay focused on the task every day. I think some of the keys are um, every team on the every member of the team has the same goal as far as making playoffs, who they want to be in playoffs, all that stuff. So I think that that's going to help us is. That is constant motivation every day when we're trying to work hard and you know we can constantly remind them that that was your goal and as a team that's what we want to accomplish. Um, I think our captains are a good uh, key to success. They kind of keep everyone on even kilter. They're very positive. Um, and lastly, I think our assistant coach, Kimberly Rigian, um, we lost our assistant coach this year. Um, so she stepped up into the role and as a former student athlete here who's been on the team for two years, she kind of knows the ins and outs. And I feel as though a lot of the girls look up to her a lot and they know that she has a great knowledge of the game. So I feel like that was going to be a good uh, key for us. Yes, I have a message for the fans. Women's lacrosse can be very exciting. Just give us a chance. <laughs> Come out and support us, we won't disappoint you.